One of my favorite things about driving up the Skyway to Paradise is getting to see this canyon right here. Such big views. This is Butte Creek Canyon and it was formed by, you guessed it, Butte Creek. Hi, I'm Jason Manley and on this edition of Butte County Adventures, we're taking you upstream from here to the Forks of Butte Creek Recreation Area. Let's go! You can access the Forks of Butte from Highway 32 near Forest Ranch, but I find it's easier to go up the Skyway through Paradise, Megalia, and DeSabla. After Lake DeSabla, turn left onto Powelson Road and then left again onto Doe Mill Road. Stop and take a look around at the BLM sign. We're now entering the Forks of Butte Recreation Area, managed by the United States Bureau of Land Management. We're right here where Doe Mill Road splits from Ditch Grade Road. If you want to access the Butte Creek Trailhead at Doe Mill Bridge, and that's where we're going, you want to continue to your left here on Doe Mill Road. If you want to access the campgrounds, make sure you take a right here at the split and go down Ditch Grade Road. Both roads are dirt, so make sure you drive carefully. We're heading down to the Doe Mill Bridge, where there are pullouts to park at just before and just after the bridge. Our hike starts on the west side of the bridge, about 50 yards up the road from the bridge. Look for the sign at the trailhead. So for the first part of this adventure, we started at the Doe Mill Bridge and we're heading south along Butte Creek, along the Butte Creek Trail. The trail is about a mile or so long, it's not too long, and the first half of it is pretty flat, uh, it's very shaded, so it's perfect for families, and it goes right along Butte Creek, so it's really, really beautiful, you got really good views of the creek. The trail along Butte Creek has several places to cool off in the summer. In the autumn, big leaf maple and Indian rhubarb will pop with fall colors, and in the winter, it's really green and lush. Well, on the second half of this hike, it's getting a little sunnier, a little rockier, a little hillier, but it's worth it. The views are opening wide open here in Upper Butte Creek Canyon. You can see cascades coming down the creek. It's really beautiful. So I've reached the point where you get to this set of stairs and it's a good turnaround point for the casual hiker because past those stairs, the trail does get a little steeper, rockier, and it starts to deteriorate. But this right here is a great lookout point, a great place to have a snack, and then turn around and go back to the car. So let's go. After we take our time walking back to the car, we're driving over to the campground area down Ditch Grade Road to enjoy new scenery and try a little gold panning. I'm down here at the Forks of Butte Creek where various forks of the Butte Creek come together. This is at the bottom of Ditch Grade Road near the BLM camping area. There's also other things to do here like hop into Butte Creek, cool off, go fishing, and even there's gold panning too. And we'll talk more about that in just a moment. Let's go. I just brought a lightweight gold pan and if you're new to gold panning, that might be all you need to get started. So gold mining is a big part of Butte County history and there's still lots of gold out there, but you gotta be careful because there's a lot of mining claims and regulations as well. Fortunately, here at the Forks of Butte Creek Recreation Area, you can try your hand at recreational gold panning. To give it a try, file a permit with the Reading Field Office and that permit is about $5 per day and it can reserve you up to 100 yards of Butte Creek. There are various different sections along Butte Creek that you can reserve. Some are easy, like this area. Others are a little bit steeper and harder to access, but perhaps there's better gold there. Who knows? If you want to give gold panning a try, go to Explore Butte County's page on Forks of Butte Recreational Area, and you can find a link to the Bureau of Land Management permit. Go ahead, print it out, fill it out, turn it in about five days before your adventure, and good luck. And I didn't find any gold this time, but maybe next time, unless you find it first. Well, that's about it. In just one morning, we did a little bit of driving. We did about two miles worth of hiking with some great scenery. We did, we did a little bit of cold panning, relaxing by Butte Creek, and we checked out the campground area. 
So you too can come out here and just check it out in one morning or an afternoon. Or you can bring a tent and camp overnight at the campground. Just make sure you pack out anything you bring in and also follow any local fire restrictions. Well, thanks for joining me, Jason Manley, on another Butte County adventure. There are a lot of beautiful places like this all around Butte County, so keep on exploring.